Thank you, Dwight. Meantime, world record holder Carl Lewis is getting ready for the 100 meters. But Lewis has had a busy day already. He started the New York Games with a rendition of the Why national anthem from which Roseanne Barr could have learned. But things weren't so good for Lewis last week in Seattle. There, his crown as King Carl of the 100 meters was lifted by Leroy Burrell in the Goodwill Games. Carl could have come to the starting line in Seattle with a lot of excuses. He spent the year writing a book, promoting a book. He made no excuses, and when it was time to run at the end of the race, he just didn't have it. Burrell is in New York, but only to run the relays with Lewis, his teammate on the Santa Monica Track Club. And here is the field, which will be running into a strong breeze. Winds have been gusting up to 15 miles per hour today. Lewis will be in lane four. Lewis is an early supporter of this track meet. He wants to help Fred Lee Bow, the meet organizer, realize his dream of having a big American track and field meet. Good start. McRae and Simone out quickly. Simone in red with the lead. But here comes Lewis. Lewis sliding to the front. Lewis will win it. Followed by Marsh and Williams. Carl Lewis told us he's still hungry. He's still motivated. And that loss at the Goodwill Games, obviously plenty of motivation for him to try to get back on top. At the Goodwill Games, he had a terrible start. Here he was down to Simone, who's a bullet starter. But by the middle of the race, it was vintage Carl Lewis taking over the lead and gliding to victory. Head on, you see, it's Lewis, the most smooth and the most controlled as he comes to the finish line. Let's go to Dwight. Carl, a pretty good way to rebound from the Goodwill game. Yeah, I felt pretty good today, Dwight. You know, coming back to the East Coast has always been very positive for me, and Fred's put on a tremendous meet here, as you're witnessing, and I'm just glad to be back in the good stride. I need some more races, and meets like today are very important. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you feel like your season is starting to come around to where you want it? Well, but today was a race I could have run at the Goodwill Games, but wasn't ready to run. And I think that uh, races like today, next week, and everything that I'm going to run in Europe is going to make a big difference. I feel I'm ready for a fast time. There are people who would say that Carl Lewis has passed his prime. How would you respond to that? Well, they said that in 1986, and they said it in 87. Uh, I still have it physically. I'm doing the same workout. It's, it's funny because I train with Leroy and Floyd Hurd and Mark Witherspoon, so I know where I am. It's just a matter of getting the focus physical, you know, putting the book behind me when that's over with, and doing what it takes to get the first place in the try. All right, congratulations on a good effort. Thank you, Bruce. The official time is 10.39 into that strong wind measured at 15 miles per hour. Mike Marsh was second with Patrick Williams third. So Carl Lewis and the rest of us will be back after this message.